Hey YouTube, it's Brandon Red here with Ramen Noodle Budgets, and today I'm going to show you how to turn a crappy Wonder Woman shield into a beauty like this, so stay tuned. Oh god, I hope I am in focus. So I should honestly really just rename my entire channel to be about shields because this is like my what, third or fourth shield video? Finally, like literally two weeks ago watching Batman vs Superman The Ultimate Cut. But um, yeah, I loved Wonder Woman's scene. I think her theme song was badass. The trailer for her solo movie just dropped at Comic-Con two days ago, so I was like, I need to do this project. So the base shield as seen here is a Ruby's Wonder Woman plastic shield. It's uh, made of a thin plastic. If you've ever seen the Captain America one sold at Party City, it's the exact same material, and honestly, I think it's like Almost the same mold, but not really at all. There's going to be three steps. We're going to reinforce the back, we're going to rondo the back, and then we're going to repaint and bondo the front. That's like four steps, but we can condense those into three. So just bear with me. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just cut off these uh, little elasticy straps using scissors. They come off really easily. And there's these little dingly thingies left behind. You can just take those off with a screwdriver. So you're going to want a kind of a base to keep your shield shape, and I'm just using a trash can because it was honestly perfect. To reinforce, the first step, which is somewhat optional, is to use fiberglass resin and fiberglass cloth over... I don't like the fiberglass mesh because it's too stringy and gets, like, everywhere. So this fiberglass cloth, you're going to roll it out, and you're going to want to cut it into small little squares. It'll be kind of stringy, it'll kind of look messy, but don't worry about that later because it's all going to be covered up later so you're gonna want to get the uh, like some cheap paint brushes from the store as well to apply all this now using a cup you're gonna want to do a very small batch of this stuff don't overdo it if you don't know what you're doing and you're just gonna apply your hardener and you're gonna start off by painting a small layer into your shield and let that dry I really play his uh, I really play close attention to filling in the bird and the outer corners after that's dried, you can begin to apply your fiberglass cloth and fiberglass resin until the entire shield is covered. Make sure to really worry about the edges because that's what makes your shield feel really strong. Now we're going to do Rondo. So you're going to need some Bondo and you're going to need um, fiberglass resin. Basically what this is, it's you need it's a one to one ratio of both and you only need the fiberglass resin uh, hardener. You don't need the other hardener for Bondo. And you're going to put in equal parts Bondo, equal parts resin, mix that up first. And then this is kind of like a really sped up of adding, you're going to add double the hardener which you'd use for the resin amount. You're going to stir that up and you need to pour it and slush it quick because this stuff hardens within like five minutes. And the shield, or the shield, yeah, the shield's going to get very, very hot because of the reaction. And it, honestly, it was so hot, like it would burn you. So like I had to put it down after I was done. I actually ended up doing this twice. And on the second time, I did use Bondo hardener and that hardened even faster like literally one to two minutes so I'd recommend just using the resin hardener because uh, it gives you a little bit more working time maybe use a little less and you might get more I'm not really sure so this is what it looks like after the second layer it's even slightly red because of the bondo hardener but it has a very nice even look there's no gross parts and it's insanely sturdy like honestly you could punch this thing like you can see me messing don't feel afraid to like you know mess with it to see if you like it as strong as it is now the problem with the shield that rubies did they put some eagle or hawk whatever on it and as you can see the shield more has like this ugly moon effect so i basically sanded that all down using a mouse sander there was still a bit left but honestly because we're going to cover it in the next step it didn't really matter to me all that much so you want to get a small batch of bondo and i'm saying work in really small amounts because bondo kind of hearts quick and you're gonna paint it down and then once it starts to uh, get hard and go like goopy you're gonna paint against it or use like a knife or whatever and it's gonna create the moonish I don't know I keep calling it moon because it looks like the moon to me and then you can uh, spray it with some primer to see if you like the way it looks and it's not if it's not like enough you can honestly stand or you can always sand it and put more on whatever you can use the Bondo then you, uh, you're going to want to spray the edges with some gold spray paint. Don't worry about spraying the middle because it's going to be black later. Once that's fully dry, you can tape off certain areas. I'll talk about why I didn't tape off the Aztec letters yet, even though that is black. And I'm using this, uh, I use this on my Kylo Ren helmet. It's kind of a hard, like a hammered look, and it just emphasizes the 
the look we created earlier. So just spray some of that down. And since it was a little too glossy, I used a satin clear coat on top of that while it was still taped off. As you can see, my lines really weren't clean, but it didn't matter to me too much because Wonder Woman's shield is going to be very distressed. So using some acrylic paints, I'm painting in some small details. And to uh, fill in that area that was too hard to fill with the tape, I'm using a cheap uh, ho like a hardware airbrush that cost me $20. So I'm then going to use some silver acrylic to paint around the edges and to paint these little triangle pieces. And then to bring the Aztec letters back out, I'm using some gold paint on my fingers and I'm barely anything on my fingers and just rubbing it in to like, emphasize the, the letters. After that, the, the shield is basically done once you get like the like, the look you like, and then you can use your satin clear coat again to spray the entire thing. After that, I sprayed the inside of the shield uh, with that hammered look. I didn't care too much about the inside of the shield, but this was the final shield. I'm going to be adding straps later. I just, there's so many shield videos I made, I don't really need to talk about that, so. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. This shield looks so incredibly awesome. I'm just putting it behind me because I hope it's in focus. I didn't finish the back yet, but I'm going to go, you know, what I said with the D-rings and the three belts or whatever. If you guys would like to see more videos like this where I'm physically talking and, you know, the audio hopefully sounds good because I know you guys complain about that all the time. By the way, I'm not going to change my Captain America videos audio. Like, the more you complain, the less I'm inclined to do it. Also, if you guys can see behind me, I have my Captain America cosplay, which I'll have a video about. And then I have, this is a Destiny armor for my friend and yeah we got you know obviously wonder woman so thanks for watching guys subscribe request more in the, the comment section whatever have fun